Hello, what is up guys? It is Justin here from Cinema 40 Tuts with a tutorial slash behind the scenes. I guess it's more of a behind the scenes and not really a tutorial. Um, I know you guys are all screaming like, oh my god, it's Justin. Oh my god, I haven't heard a tutorial from him in forever. Oh my god, I know. Shut up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but first of all, I know a lot of you guys asked like how I do the, uh, the uh, Cinema 40 paint job, custom paint job things. And it is very, very easy. Um, uh, I know a lot of the uh, more advanced users that are watching it were like, wow, why are you doing this? It's it's very simple, yada, yada, yada. Um, guys, I'm doing it for fun. I mean, that's why I'm making videos again. Um, I enjoy making videos. I'm not trying to put the pressure on myself of like, oh my god, I have to put out a video every day and you know, I have to do this and that. If I'm not having fun with it, I'm not going to make a video and that's all there is to it right now. Um, and this is fun for me. I mean, it's it's really enjoyable. I like taking these uh, these car models and you know painting them. You know, when I was little, I always used to like get those like paint or those cars and paint them and you know do whatever I wanted with them. And I guess now I'm sort of just doing that in Cinema 4D instead of in person. <laughs> so um, we'll go ahead and uh, hop right into it. First off, guys, um, stages are really easy to come by. I'm not going to go through the stage modeling. If you want to pick one up from whatever model pack or whatever I'm pretty sure they have them in the uh, content browser also um, so the first thing is really just putting in a stage um, I'm using one from someone else's uh, model pack actually um, so really I mean just grab one from wherever they have them in cinema 40 content browser um, I believe I'm using the uh, I'm using a regular lighting one with the illumination and all that crap um, so yeah, I mean, just grab a, a stage, throw that in there. Um, I'm assuming that all of you guys know how to do lighting. Um, there's some soft boxes above. There's some uh, there's some GI and some global illumination, or not GI and global illumination. Um, sorry, um, you know, there's pretty basic lighting in here. Um, <clears throat> so I mean, really, any any good lighting um, will do the trick. Uh, for episode three, I plan on actually compositing every. Uh, every uh, model that I do into like a, a real image and um, making it a lot more realistic. One of the things that someone suggested was to uh, to make it a lot more realistic because I know a lot of them aren't really, uh, you know, crazy realistic. Um, so yeah, uh, after after you get the uh, the stage and the lighting and all of that, um, first off I set up a camera to, uh, to point exactly where I want to like uh, take the picture of the car and uh, first what I do is I take one with the car completely completely untextured you know uh, actually we're gonna go ahead and grab a different car so um, <clears throat> uh, no we'll, we'll go ahead and use the Aston um, so I'm sure a lot of you guys know about uh, 3d model websites um, I'm gonna put a couple in the description um, this is one that I have been using you just go to cars and you go to you know uh, object or cinema 4d and you go through and you select what car you want to uh, what car you want to texture you know so um, I have not been modeling all of these I've been putting that in the description that these are not my models this is where you get the models from here's a link here's my citations and all of that um, so yeah I mean you can really just grab whatever you can grab one of these sexy sexy mini coopers and um, you know have fun with it um, so that's what I've been doing um, so anyways we're gonna hop right back into Cinema 4D so um, as you can see here I have a ton ton of textures here um, there is, uh, I've grabbed a lot of my own textures. I've been using, um, you know, some of my old, uh, texture packs for, uh, you know, random things, you know, the chrome, uh, glossy colors, tinted glass, um, you know, different things like that, leather, tires, etc. Um, so that is what I've been doing for the, uh, that side of it. And, um, one thing that I've been doing for a, uh, a lot of the, uh, the cars is finding images online to use or going through uh, texture packs and um, doing that all right so I'm gonna go into a, uh, a texture pack that I have uh, you know stock images whatever um, <laughs> all right I might just throw a space texture on here just to just to show you guys an example of what I have been doing all right, that looks pretty crazy. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this, drag it into here, and you don't need to create a uh, whatever. Um, so right here, obviously, if you drag this onto the Aston Martin, it's gonna look stupid. I mean, when you render that out, obviously my render is gonna take a while because I have really crazy render settings on right now. Um, each of the renders for those cars, by the way, we're taking um, 
you know, a very, very good amount of time. Yeah, I took all of the uh, settings off. So that is what you have right now. That looks horribly stupid. That's just a black car with a very crumpled up space image on the front of it. Um, obviously, that is not what you want to do. So get that off of there. Oh, my God. Control Z. Get that off of there. <laughs> all right. Um, obviously, that is not what you guys want to do. First off, you don't just want the image like this. You don't just drag it in here and drag it onto there. Um, what I usually do is I take off the specular. I'll put on a very, very small amount of reflection just to make it look like it's a car, you know, a car paint job. You know, I'll put on 5 8%. I'm not saying add 30% because then it starts to look very unrealistic. Um, but, you know, throw on 5 6 7 8%. Really, all of them are done uh, on an individual basis every time. I don't go in here and I just, you know, okay, 5%, uh, do this, do that, do that. I really change it up for each one of them. So um, I go ahead and throw uh, diffusion on there. And then, oh, God, now I have to look up the uh, image that I used. Supplements, amazing stock images, space images. Oh, God, wrong one. Space stocks. All right. So you find the same image, you uh, throw some diffusion on there. I usually uh, keep that normal. <coughs> I will uh, keep the brightness at 100%. And you really just mess with this a little bit, get some diffusion in there so it's not just, you know, a normal stock. You really want to add this to make it look, I guess, really as cool as it can be. Um, <coughs> so, you know, I go around and I mess with some of these. Um, I really just usually add reflection, color, diffusion, and sometimes some bump. Um, that will give it some more of like a realistic look. Um, so if we want to do that again, throw on the texture. Where are you? Texture. Throw on some bump. Um, you know, you can really do whatever you want with this. Just mess around with it on an individual basis. All right. So when I throw it onto the car, um, all right, you see it's on the uh, the body of the car. And typically, when you get a uh, when you get a model from those websites, they will be very very in depth, and there will be um, there will be the interior, there will be, you know, panels, there will be parts of the wheels, there will be glass, there will be everything, you know. So you can go through and fully customize every part of the car. And that's what I've been doing. And it, it definitely does take a while. I mean, I'm not throwing these episodes together in, you know, 30 seconds. I'm just like, okay, I'm going to throw some paint on the car and render it out. And, oh, man, that looks pretty good. So, no, I, I've not been doing that. I have actually been spending quite a bit of time with them. Obviously, I'm not going to sit there and render that out because I was joking. But, um, yeah, so... What I do with these is um, a lot of the time I've been adding the uh, projection on the texture to frontal. And what that does is that gives it the uh, this weird sort of frontal imaging. And it looks really good for the graffiti images that I've been using. And um, I don't know why I like it so much, but I love the look of it. So that is what I've been doing, um, throwing that on there. And you really have to go through and do it uh, step by step and uh, changing, you know, pretty much every part of the car. You know, you get the headlights and you'll use an, a, a texture with some illumination so um you know uh where's the texture that i've been using for headlights just so i can show you guys an example oh i think this might be it illumination no okay well whatever we can throw some luminance on there and you know whatever we'll throw 28 percent on and throw those on the headlights and that will give it the glassy illumination look and you know and then you'll go to like the grill and you'll find a chrome texture you'll make a chrome texture you'll you know it's n really not that hard to make a metal texture um make it like a you know whatever chrome color you want darkish black you know charcoal take off the specular throw some high reflection on there because it's you know that um effects and you can you you know you guys just can make it in there and make it look like a metal so obviously we're not going to use that color because it's not a weird colored metal like that but there you go you'll throw that on there you'll throw it on the grill or whatever and you can really just go through and fully customize the car and that is what i have been doing guys if you can't physically make the texture on your own there is so many texture packs out there i i strongly encourage that you try and mess around with textures and you know it's really easy to make things like glass or metal you know i just made a, a metal texture in 30 seconds so you know if you have the windshield here you can do uh you know um obviously don't use 100 percent transparency uh but make a, a windshield type texture make uh if you wanted a tinted window you know there you go and throw some of that on there oh oh that is way too dark um 
and then obviously windows have reflection so just make it look like a windshield guys so really i encourage messing around with these things um we can see how that looks really quick obviously it is not going to look top quality um i'm using very low render settings and i just threw that together in 30 seconds but i am showing you guys an example this is a behind the scenes um this is how i have been doing it um so yeah guys that is pretty much it um if you guys can't make the tire textures um, for one of the models, I actually used a, a, a tire texture um, from that website that I've been using, um, and that was actually really cool. It actually had like Goodyear on it, and it was really, really customized. And I think it was for the uh, the Ford Fiesta. It was a it's a really cool, uh, really cool texture. Um, so obviously, this is going to look absolutely terrible because I used this crazy space font or space text rather. Um, but this is basically the uh, the basis of the uh, the creation process that I've been uh, been using to uh, to create these uh, cool looking cars. And um, yeah, we're not gonna sit here and watch that render out because it's going to look terrible. But you guys can really make this look however you want. If you want to do one of your own cars, because there really is a ton of textures. If you have a Ford Fiesta, or if you have you know, if your mom drives a BMW or whatever or an Audi Q7, here you go, you know, here's the Audi Q7, and you want to show your mom this awesome paint job that you can do with uh, with an Audi or whatever, go ahead, you know, it's a ton of fun, I love doing it, um, I plan on getting better at it, and I, you know, plan on, you know, finding the little kinks and uh, things that I have been doing wrong, and making it look a lot more realistic, uh, using a lot higher render settings, um, so yeah, guys, that is, that is basically it, um, I'm going to delete these. I'll show you guys a couple others that I have been uh, using. And blah, 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 blah. there we go. This is one of the uh, ones that I used on one of the other cars. Um, and that is how I've been getting the uh, the cool cool looking uh, textures, guys. So, yeah, that is basically it. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any more questions, I can do another behind the scenes. If, uh, if one of the episodes, you know, if you're like, wow, how did you do that? Or... Uh, Wow, you're really an idiot, Justin. You need to learn how to do this better. <laughs> I, I really do take constructive criticism well. I'm not one of the guys that's like, you know, hey, back off. I've been doing this for a while. I know what I'm doing because there is always room for improvement. So um, definitely leave criticism. If you uh, if you see something that I screwed up on on one of the episodes, say, hey, man, you should uh, you should try this for the texture instead. I take it very well, uh, I think, you know. <laughs> so... Um, go ahead and do that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like if you did. Um, episode 3 will be coming at you soon. And I plan on doing a lot more, not just the uh, Cinema 4D paint jobs. So yeah, guys, make sure to leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys are subscribed, or most of you actually. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. And have a great day.